So today we're going to talk about no hot water or poor hot water issues on our combination boiler. There's a number of various reasons as to why you may be affected by these issues. Commonly they may be down to the flow rates not being quite set correctly or you may not actually get any hot water at all if your pipe work is reversed. For example, if your outlet is actually feeding your inlet and your inlet is actually at your outlet, that reverse pipe work means that you would not get any hot water. On our combination boilers, depending on which power boiler you get, will depend what flow rates you can have to achieve through them. In our manual, we do state what recommended flow rates are required for achieving a 40 degree temperature on our boiler. We will now demonstrate some of the flow rates and how that will affect the boiler's temperature. So now as you can see on our flow cut, we're approaching 7 litres per minute. As we can see from the boiler, we're getting around a 40 degree temperature. Now as I increase that flow rate on the flow cup to around 10 litres a minute, let's look at what happens to that temperature. So now that we've got 10 litres a minute on our flow cup, we can see that that temperature has dramatically dropped and is no longer good enough. This demonstrates why the flow rate is very important for ensuring that we maintain a good strong temperature. So depending on which water power boiler you get, always check the manufacturer's instructions for the recommended flow rate for this product. This is why it's very important to ensure that your flow rates are set correctly to ensure that you're getting the correct temperatures.